We told you the murder suicide of two elementary school employees. Police say Mitch Hafferbaker shot and killed his wife Sherry before turning the gun on himself. Mitch and Sherry were longtime employees of the College Community School District. Hey. Along with his wife, police say Mitch also killed their family dog. But there was one family member in that house that night that was not killed. CBS News reporter Joy Howe here now with more on what happened to him since this tragedy. So much grief came from the situation, but there is a beautiful silver lining to this story. In fact, someone who lost his entire family is now the source of healing for his extended one. Call the office. Prairie Hill Elementary is a school full of laughter. I have it. Students are friendly. Your turn. Teachers have fun. This is your comeback now. But the heart in these halls He's sitting with some students right now. seems to be a classmate who can't laugh or play card games, but can do a lot more. A dog named Primos. The kids really see Primos as a friend. Primos is a therapy dog. When he lays down next to a child, he's laying with that child, laying against that child. Sometimes he pauses just to be a dog. But Primos has a story that makes him much more. He was raised by and lived with his handler, Sherry. She touched a lot of people's lives. She brought him to school every day, where she'd worked as the head custodian for 15 years. The thing about it is, is that Sherry went above and beyond what a lot of people would do. She would take time out of her day. She would go and read to kids because that was important to her. During her breaks, she didn't stop. She sat with Primos and the kids and read. Then Annie stood up. And when her story ended too soon, Primos kept her spot on the floor with the kids and their books. One of the things the day we found out, um, one of the requests of the teachers was we wanted Primos, you know, and he brought instant comfort. It's that love that was passed on from Sherry to Primos and passed right on to us. Um, great comfort. Yeah. You know, every time I see Primos, I think about her, and I think a lot of people do. Therapy dog was just his title. Now, it's his role. Just like the school, Primos lost someone too. We've done everything we can um, for the dog and to take care of him because he's been taking care of us. I think she's watching us all right now. Um, we're just giving him extra love and he's giving us love right back. And so the healing goes both ways. Thanks to a wet nose that's helped dry tears and four paws for double the support. Go home now. It's where you belong. Thanks to a dog who knows exactly where he needs to be. And the principal says that the dog, in case you're wondering, is now with another district employee. And he's so grateful because that district employee brings that dog to their school every day so the kids and the staff can have him there. You know, nothing like the unconditional love of a dog nothing is there for all of us. Nothing. Fantastic. Thanks so much, Joy.